Hello and good morning from Port Orleans French Quarter. It is 11 o'clock in the morning, which means that it's time to check out and eat some food. <laughs> yes, this is one final look at our room that we stayed in the past couple days. It was very comfortable. Did you like it? I loved it. I love this hotel or resort. Yeah, I think we had a fantastic time. This is where we ate our beignets and then we got things. I did. It was a little bit messy. <laughs> we got that. Uh, Mickey made out of beads, and this is what our pictures ended up turning out as. Which is really great. That one of you with the alligators is fantastic. Alright, so we went to the car, we put our belongings into the car, we are officially checked out and heading to get some breakfast. So that is Scat Cats Club Cafe, right next to Sasagula Footworks and Food Factory. Although, I didn't think about it, they're actually serving lunch right now because it is 11 o'clock. So what we might do is just head to Disney Springs to get some lunch. Okay, so Sasagula is way down there. There's the playground and the pool area. And our room is just right around the corner. So we've decided to do something a little bit different because we have a fun activity that we're going to be going to in about an hour. So I think, or I guess it's closer to about half an hour. So we're going to head to the Disney Springs area, probably grab a quick snack, and then we'll come back to Disney Springs, I think, for lunch. Brennan is way over there getting everything else into the car and yeah, so that's, that's sort of the plan for the morning. So we are heading out of Port Orleans French Quarter and off to get a snack and then off to a really fun little activity that we have planned. Probably won't show us getting a snack, but you'll see us in just a second as we go to a fun, cool fundraiser that we're happy to support today. Bye, Port Orleans French Quarter. You were a lot of fun and really relaxing to stay at. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, never mind. I'm showing where we're having a snack, which is, of course, the... <laughs> McDonald's on property, the very, very fancy McDonald's. We're just gonna get something simple, I think. So we are heading to the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress, which is located pretty much around the corner from Disney Springs off of Hotel Plaza Boulevard. And here we are at the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress, currently waiting in a little bit of a backed up line to park. We are going to an event called Balloon Wonderland, featuring half a million balloons and benefiting Give Kids the World. So we've made it to the parking lots. It is currently raining and we are waiting on the shuttle to take us over to the event. This is exciting. Okay, so we just got off of that shuttle and we are heading inside the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress for Balloon Wonderland. So we're heading down to this ballroom down here. I can see some balloons, which implies that we're heading in the right direction. And here we are at Balloon Wonderland. I am so excited for this. This is going to be so whimsical and fun. Okay, so we are heading into the events. We have our wristbands. There's a fun photo opportunity here. There are quite a few photo opportunities. These are our wristbands. Let's take some pictures. This is cool. You can write a wish and you can put up on a wall. And there's some concessions here, it looks like. This looks like a pretty popular area over here. Look at all of these kids just playing in balloons. So it looks like this is the entrance to the events over here inside the ballroom. I think that's where we're heading. Okay, so we came inside the ballroom, and this is so incredibly impressive. This is a recreation of the Get Kids the World Village. We came in that door right there, and I'm not incredibly familiar with the Get Kids the World, but this is the carousel, I'm pretty sure. That's right outside of Town Hall. Okay, so we're slowly moving through the events. Right now, there are half a million balloons in here. Whoa! That looks so... Incredibly awesome. I'm so overwhelmed. So I assume this is just one giant maze through the ballroom. I wish I could articulately describe just how incredibly cool this event is right now. It's a pretty casual just walkthrough experience, but so far I think we're both very impressed and having a good time, right? Yeah, it's so cool in here. I'm not incredibly sure how big this ballroom is or just the extent of this event, but so far I am ridiculously impressed by all of this. Okay, so we turned the corner and we're heading into a different part of, I want to call it a maze. It's not only a maze, but it's amazing, right? It's like a jungle. And then it leads into Amberville, which is way over there. Look at the detail, it's just so impressive. Literally every single aspect of this is all made out of balloons. They also have wish balloons just sort of all around the events. This is so impressive. There's Amberville straight ahead. Here's the 
massive uh -huh. elephant. So this is just sort of a this is sort of like a jungle area, right? I'm trying to see if each room has a particular theme to it that we moved through. The other one was sort of nautical, I guess, with seahorses. And then the jungle, and now we're heading into Amberville. Which is, I think is where all the rides are. Is that where the rides are? Don't I guess that makes sense. Okay, so we pass it underneath the balloon arch into Amberville. This is so phenomenally cool. I'm not really going to show every single detail about all of what the event has to offer and showcase, but it is just so impressive. Brenda was pointing out that <laughs> this is one of Brenda's favorite songs. She dances with Arlo to this. So it's very tempting to want to pick up some of the balloons that they have around here. Like there's a pogo stick over here made out of balloons. And this is a wish tree. It looks like they have a ton of different children's wishes on this tree. So we're in the next room, in the next section of events. And I think that this is supposed to be the Castle of Miracles, where wish children place a star when they've stated gift it's the world. That's just my interpretation. It's definitely been very humbling to read all of the wishes just around the events on the balloons, which are a little bit more on the more personal side, but they've been very interesting to see that I just <laughs> brushed my head up against the balloon. Okay, so this is the miniature golf course that is that gift it's the world that actually makes a lot of sense because of all of the dinosaurs. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the ballroom and all the balloons that they have. Just look at all of these dinosaurs. This is cool. And then back over here is a volcano. How neat is that? Okay, I think we're moving on to the next and final room. I actually don't know if this is going to be the very final room. We're underneath a rainbow right now, but we're definitely getting pretty close. I think that that's the end straight ahead. So this is Henry's Starlight Scoops, which is the ice cream store in Get Fix the World. We just came from over there. And there's ice cream everywhere. This is definitely one of the more popular rooms, without a doubt. Just due to the theme of it, probably. Having a Candyland aesthetic to it. This center rainbow is really cool. And then just ice cream literally everywhere. Okay, so we just took some pictures with the rainbow arch. There's one over here as well, but we took it in the last one. Oh no! That's adorable. <laughs> He's like, oh! Oh no! Okay, I think that that is pretty much it, right? Okay, so this is the exit over here. Everyone is just sort of conglomerating because I guess they don't want to leave because it's so beautiful. <laughs> so I wore my balloon shirt today. Yeah. Pretty fanatic, I think. I don't want to leave either. This is so pretty. It is really pretty and calming. See, so straight ahead, that's the carousel, which is the entrance into the events. And then this is the exits. I think everyone's just taking some last minute pictures in here. I definitely like this. A little bit cramped. I'm confused, but it's still pretty cool. And we just came back outside, and this is where everyone is playing in the balloons. And over right there is the entrance. And we went inside. So Brennan wanted to get a picture waiting in the balloons on the ground. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, so I've waded out to the middle of all the balloons. There's a lot that's going on here. This is fun though. Oh god, I love balloons. Okay, so I think that that is it. I think we're going to go ahead and start heading back to the shuttle. So this is pretty cool to buy the concessions and the merchandise that we have. A little game where you can pop a balloon and you can win a prize and then right around the corner there's a raffle going on. So this is pretty cool. I think we might get something from the uh, booth over here. So this is what I decided to get. I got a Mayor Clayton plush with accompanying balloon. Look at that. Arla's going to enjoy that. Okay, so we are heading back to the shuttle to go ahead and head back to the car so we can grab some lunch from Disney Springs and then head to Brennan's parents to pick up Arlo. Shouldn't be too long for a shuttle to take that back to the parking lots because they were pretty consistently quick earlier. <laughs> okay, so we're on the bus, taking this, or I guess the shuttle, it's back to the parking lot. That didn't take that long at all. And hello from Disney Springs. We're here just to have a pretty quick lunch, I think, and then 
heading off to grab Arlo from Brennan's parents. And then going home. So we parked in the Lime Garage today, so we're always consistently switching it up, and I think we're heading over to Earl of Sandwich for a quick lunch. Okay, we're passing by Starbucks and World of Disney. Earl of Sandwich is way over there. And there it is, straight ahead, Earl of Sandwich. It's been a while since we've come to Earl of Sandwich during the daytime. This is usually sort of a nighttime date restaurant. There is a little bit of a line, but it is lunchtime, so hopefully we can order and get our food relatively quickly. Okay, so we are sitting outside right now. There's Brennan's Sandwich. She got the Earl's Club with turkey, bacon, Swiss lettuce, Roma tomato, and sandwich sauce. And then I got this. This is the Chipotle chicken avocado, which I've gotten I had numerous times with grilled chicken, bacon cheddar, avocado lettuce, and chipotle sauce. And then we both got some tomato soup on the side. Okay, so we are heading over to Days of Christmas really quickly before we head back to the car so I can get a little souvenir. So it seems pretty random, but a while ago I was looking for these particular ornaments and I couldn't find them online. I meant to order them, but I did not, and then I couldn't find them in person, and now I'm getting them. I'm getting them for myself and for my parents. All right, so that was a pretty successful day of eating and shopping at Disney Springs, a very quick one at that, too. Right now it's back to the garage to pick up Arlo to finally head back to the house. Welcome back on a slightly lengthier trip to Disney Springs, but for now, this is a pretty good trip. All right, so we've made it back home. It's been a couple hours. We went and picked up Arlo from Brennan's parents' house, and he's a little bit damp right now because it's raining outside and he's a little bit grumpy about it. But Arlo, look, we brought you back Mayor Clayton. What do you think? Hesitant. Okay. There he goes. So because it's pouring down rain, there's not really much else we can do today. There he goes with his balloon. I did want to show off something over here. Arlo, <laughs> he's getting scared. So I got these for myself and my brother Travis and my brother Dennis because I saw them online and I just thought that they would be really cool to get because these were our respective starter Pokemon from back in the day. So I don't think that they're watching this probably because I don't think that they actually watch my videos, but at some point I'm going to uh, bring those to them. Where are you planning on going with this? Arlo really likes his Mayor Clayton. There he goes. <laughs> Goodbye. So this is the second process, or well, it's the continued process, I guess, mm -hmm. of this craft beer kit that I've been using, this Mr. Beer craft beer kit. And if you watched, I think it was our 4th of July experience that we had, I made the actual beer and that's been um, fermenting for, I think it's, it's supposed to be in between 10 to 14 days. And I think today it's been exactly 12. And I tasted it, it tastes like flat beer, and so now it is ready for the carbonation process. So I have sanitized all of the bottles that were included with the kits, and I have the carbonation drops right here. This is just a, a very simplistic process, I believe. So I just dropped two tablets in the bottle. Are all of these bottles supposed to get filled? Yeah, pretty much. Really? I think within like an inch and a half from the top, because this is two gallons of beer. Okay. So now, That's a lot of bottles. Yeah, come on over here, and I'm supposed to, I think, put it at an angle like this, and then fill the beer up. And then once I've filled up all 11 bottles, I just store them in a cool, dry, and temperate location for 14 days, and I refrigerate them for, I think, 48 hours. So they don't even get refrigerated yet? Not yet, no. Oh, wow. So I just add the cap to it and then let that carbonate. And then in two weeks, we will have beer. So also, I know that I mentioned, where is it, right here? Jeez, it's frozen. The grapefruit juice, I think I'm gonna hold off on this. I'm not gonna like mess with the actual- it's Pretty ambitious. Brewing. Um, concept that I'm doing here. If I'm gonna add, just take a little grapefruit flavoring, I'll add it at the very end. I think brewing with fruit or any other additive flavor would be better to do on a, at a certain point with the yeast and the fermentation. So because of the sugars, I guess. So I'm gonna hold off on this for now and just focus on just actually making beer and carbonating it just so I don't do that wrong, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the film room right now, and Arlo is still enjoying his Mayor Clayton plush toy right there. But I wanted to show this off. This was an incredibly generous um, package that we got in the P.O. box. So this is from uh, Amy Stewart and Mark Spain. Thank you, Arlo. I appreciate it. And they sent just like a cool little box here, complete with a slow cooking for two book, which we are very thankful for, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they sent a little collector uh, PAX Park Series uh, pin collection here, which this was really cool. So we have a Goofy, and then we have a little fire truck there, and then one more. We have a tiny little Mickey in a rocket ship right there, like the Astro Orbiter. And then this is incredibly cool. Look at all of these figurines. Might be a little bit hard to see, but there are just so many so Mickey Mouse figurines there, ranging from Steamboat Willie to Sorcerer Mickey to just regular standard Mickey Mouse. I love this so much. So thank you so much. That was that was so just genuinely generous, and they sent this just super nice. Um, card about wanting to run into us at the parks at some point, so we appreciate that so much, right, Brennan? Yeah, thank you. So that concludes our staycation adventure at Port Orleans French Quarter. We, I guess, we initially went to Epcot and we went to the very first day of the International Food and Wine Festival, which was awesome, mm -hmm. weather permitting, but it was still yeah. fun and we had a good amount of food. And then we went to Port Orleans and enjoyed the night there. Then the next day we went to Hollywood Studios and surprised ourselves with some. Activities that we haven't done in a long time, including the oh, sci-fi, the uh, dry, uh, the sci-fi drive-in dine-in theater, technically, <laughs> and Oga's Cantina, and That's then we just say. spent the evening at Port Orleans and went to the pool, and we went over to um, Riverside mm -hmm. and just enjoyed that, and then today we checked out. We went to the Give Kids the World event, uh, win uh, not Winter Wonderland, Balloon Wonderland, and just enjoyed getting to support them and just checking out the incredible endeavor of, of half a million balloons by 400 balloon artists. And then we went to Disney Springs and we had some lunch today. Yeah. That was great. And then we picked up Arlo and just enjoyed the evening at home and I brewed some beer. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah. What like a fun way to spend just like a couple days. Sort of a lot crammed in there, but I think we spent it pretty well and I we had a good time. I really like the resort. I think it's one of my new favorite ones. It's just like the property is so pretty and I just like all the amenities there and just like the location of it. Like it's, it's a pretty like conveniently located resort to other amenities outside too. Like it's right by Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Disney Springs. And if you just combine, I think that they're technically separate resorts, but but French Quarter and Riverside is one just massive mm -hmm. resort. That was cool. I just getting to explore that, and, and that's something that we both want to just go back and do casually, just because it is on oh, um, on the river from e Disney Springs. Yeah, we have so many plans just to go back casually and just <laughs> enjoy our time there. So thank you for hanging out with us the past uh, couple days. We will see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Bye.